Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Deadpool issue 2. And I know I didn't review issue 1, but I did get to read issue 1 I picked up the week after. But before I start this review for Deadpool, um, let's talk about updates. So our first update is um, Maze of Spider-Man issue 698 is uploaded. It just didn't upload with the Friday reviews. I did it on Wednesday because I could not wait to review that. So go check that out. It's just going to be under all these Friday uploads. So go check out my uploads there you know, uh, watch that review. Um, also, um, on Dark Avenger Inc., I have four comic book reviews that I usually do on Comic Uno, so let's tell you guys which those are. That is Nightwing, Supergirl, Ultimate Comics X-Men, and, um, uh, Green Lantern New Guardians. So, uh, to go check that out, in the description below, there'll be a link for Dark Avenger Inc., that we could go check that out. And let's start the review for Deadpool Issue 2. Um, I didn't love the cover for this. I was like, where is this going? And, um, the R for the elephant looked really weird. He just had a lot of dots on his skin. And I was just like, eh, I don't know. I didn't love the art. I don't know why. But I was still excited to read this because I actually read issue one and issue two together. I didn't get to read issue one. But I knew issue two was coming out, so I picked it up to read both of them. See if I liked it. So let's see if I did like it. So with issue two, we get to see, um, Deadpool is having some dream. Um, he's having a dream about, um, woman of Emma Frost, Susan Storm, um, She-Hulk, and just him, you know, being Deadpool, pretty much. And, um, he wakes up by having Ben Franklin say, oh, we have to defeat these presidents. He's like, you don't think I already know that? And Ben Franklin's helping him, I guess, because he really wasn't a president. No one else could see Ben Franklin, either. Um... So, all the presidents are rising up, FDR, um, JFK, George Washington, all these presidents. And then we also get the S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, teams up with Deadpool to uh, defeat all these presidents, to defeat all these things. Because no one likes Deadpool as a hero, and they're like, we don't need a hero, we just need people to defeat the presidents. If we had a hero, they're going to be like, why these superheroes, you know, why is Captain America defeating... Um, George Washington, so people are going to get upset with that, but if Deadpool does it, then everyone's good. So that's why Deadpool has this mission. Um, so he's trying to just get all these presidents and kill them, and try to bring them back to the dead, I guess. Um, that's pretty much what happens. Uh, and I, they did, in this whole issue, that didn't finish, I guess. It's just like kind of the presidents are still doing what they're doing, and Deadpool still has no idea how to defeat them. So, um, I... Don't know what about you know you guys, you guys know I'm a big Deadpool fan. I actually haven't read any Deadpool beforehand of this, and um, that's why I was like very hesitant to pick this up. But I was like, you know what, it's Marvel now. Let's try new things. I heard so many great things about the first issue, and I actually do like the comedy of Deadpool. I really do. It's just that with Deadpool, I just want the comedy with Deadpool. I don't want the comedy with everyone else. Um, I feel like what makes Deadpool special is that he has his own sarcastic thing, but I felt like with uh, with this issue, everyone had the same sarcasm as Deadpool. So we had the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents being sarcastic, we had, you know, the presidents being sarcastic. It's like, it's Deadpool sarcastic, not everyone else, and that kind of annoyed me because I felt like every character was trying to be Deadpool. Um, so I didn't enjoy this, and the president thing, I just did not like that much. It just didn't, I just didn't make me laugh, and I feel like that's what Deadpool is supposed to do, is supposed to make you laugh. Um, there's a couple of references that did make me laugh. I don't remember which ones they are, but there was actually one that actually made me laugh out loud. I just can't think of exactly which one it was. Um, I just didn't like this one that much, though. I probably am going to skip on Deadpool, but I'm glad I gave it a try. I just, I just wish that, um... I think it's the solo series, really. I, I like Deadpool, all, you know, maybe in a team, because we get to see only Deadpool act funny, because that's who Deadpool is. But with this series, again, we just get everyone else being sarcastic. It's like Deadpool is the one who's sarcastic, not everyone else. I know you're trying to get that feel of everyone being sarcastic and having those, you know, one-liners, but it's not everybody. It's only Deadpool, and I feel like they didn't get that. Um, so I didn't love this issue. I just really wasn't entertained by it. Um... So, I'm glad I gave it a try, though. I'm going to give it three stars, and, you know, it wasn't bad. It really wasn't. It just wasn't my taste, I would say. So, I'm going to give it three stars. Maybe you know, I'll pick up another Deadpool issue along the way if it interests me. But right now, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of titles already, so I'm going to skip on Deadpool. But I'm glad I did give it a try. So, tell me what you guys think about Deadpool, because I'm sure other people will like this. It's just, again, it's just not my taste. So, I'm going to give it three stars. I say don't pick it up, but... 
you know, it depends on your taste. But uh, this is Comic Uno. Hope you guys enjoyed. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. I'll see you guys later. Bye.